one step at a time. How do you choose a main in Street Fighter 6 and what are some things to consider before choosing one? Well, I'm here to help you today to figure that out. First and foremost, my dudes, if you enjoy Street Fighter content and you want more of it, make sure to subscribe here because we have new videos Monday and Friday. Now, how do you choose a main? Because there are so many characters in Street Fighter 6 and there's more to come. And I think all these principles can apply to almost any fighting game, Smash, Mortal Kombat, whatever. I think the first thing you want to do is honestly, just, just who looks cool, who looks fun to you. Like in my case when i first saw the gameplay reveal trailer for street fighter 6 i was leaning towards manon regardless of tier list or who's good or not she just looked cool she looked fun to play for those that actually know my background i was a dancer for years so to see a dancer fighter in a new fighting game was really cool to me so off the bat i was like well i'm gonna give her a shot even though she's not my typical play style she just looked cool so that is the first step who just looks fun to you there are some characters that i see and i'm like yeah they look cool but i just don't think they're that cool like i'm gonna be real with you i think gihan does great Great. he's a great character he's fun but seeing his gameplay he just doesn't not look that cool or that that fun to me you know what i'm saying but other people might really enjoy e honda they might see him and go wow that guy looks awesome he looks like so much fun and that's totally cool but i think that is the first step honestly you just be, screw tier list screw who's good or bad who just looks fun who just looks cool to you once you figure that out then honestly it's just a whole period of testing them out and i'm not gonna lie to you i've been testing with non out for quite some time now these past few days since the game launched and and my results are kind of wishy-washy. I think she's great, but her game plan and strategy is just a bit different than what I'm used to. So I'm kind of in the boat of like, do I stick with her and learn her game plan and master her? Or do I go to a different main where they might fit my, you know, hand muscle memory a bit better, my kind of my own personal game plan, what I like in a character. It's kind of hard because anybody could stick with a character they think looks great, like me sticking with Manon. But at the end of the day, you don't have to. I might stick it out and master her and become a true Manon main. I'm not sure yet, but that's the point, right? That is the second step because we are taking it one step at a time. So once you find out who looks cool and fun, try them out, test them out, play more than a few matches online, play for a couple hours in training, lab them up, really feel how the character plays and go, oh, this is the character's game plan. This is how they're supposed to play. Do I like that? Or am I looking for something a bit different? Transitioning to that next step, step three is consider their toolkit because you got to consider if it's something a bit different than what you originally wanted, you have to consider the character character's toolkit and what they come with. And kind of just like what you desire to have in a character. For an example, for me, I actually played Raiden in Mortal Kombat 9, X, and 11. And the reason why is I like to have a teleport in my character because I like to get in their face if I'm getting zoned out. I like to have more than a few mix-ups in my arsenal. I like to have a projectile if needed. And I'm gonna be real with you, Manon doesn't have any of that. She's got no projectiles. She's got no teleport. She's got no nothing besides her own feet to get her in there. That's just what I like. Some people don't care if they have a projectile or or not some people don't care if they have a teleport or not again you have to sit down and go okay what do i want in my character do i want a really good anti-air do i want a really good projectile or an okay one and if you don't care about any of that guess what zangief manon marissa cami characters like that might fit more towards your style because they don't have any of those things that you don't care about or vice versa you might be a player that says you know what i just have to have some form of projectile in my arsenal because i like to have that in my back pocket just in case then characters like Ryu, Ken, Luke, Guile, DJ, these characters that have those in their arsenal might be better fit for you. Then you gotta narrow it down. Okay, so these characters have a projectile, so I'm already leaning towards these characters. Now, Guile and DJ, they have charge inputs where Ryu and Ken don't. Am I okay with that? Do I prefer that? Then go test them out. Test out Guile, test out Ken, and consider do I prefer the charge inputs that Guile has in his combos, or do I prefer the moveset that Ken has? I hate to say it, but there's no like actual definitive answer of like, hey, here's one thing you have to consider when picking a main and then you'll have your main guaranteed nope it's honestly just a big trial and error that takes some time but that's the beauty of it right you get to test out all these characters and go oh okay so i do like guy a little bit but actually I, I i think i prefer ken a bit more and that's totally cool or vice versa because not only do you have to consider their kit and like what they offer but you also have to consider their play style guy plays very different than ken even though they both have projectiles good anti-airs and more they might seem similar on the surface but they play very differently 
because Guile has charge inputs, he's a bit more defensive character in punishing his opponent, where Ken is like, I'm gonna rush in there and do whatever the freak I want. How do you prefer to play? You might not know the answer to that question, by the way. So that is why you need to go in and test. Test him in the lab, test him online in casual matches and say, oh, this is how Guile is supposed to play. I'm being a bit more defensive and I'm, even though I'm winning, I'm not, I'm not really feeling that game plan. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Ken. Oh, he's a bit more of a Russian. I actually like that a lot more. I like that I can get in there fast and do some fun combos. That's totally cool. A lot of people like to go towards the tier list and say, oh, well, this pro player said that Ken is actually the top tier. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna disregard everybody else, every other character. And I'm just gonna play Ken because some pro said that he was the best. And what people don't stop to consider is we live in a day and age of constant updates, constant patches that nerf some characters, that buff some characters. So let's say, sure, let's say Ken is the best character of all Street Fighter 6 and you decide to play Ken, you might get a couple of dubs and feel really good about it. But guess what? In about a week or even tomorrow or this morning, Street Fighter might come out and say, hey, you guys, we came out with a balance patch and we nerfed Ken. Well, now your main is mid tier. So what are you going to do? Stick with Ken or are you going to go to the next top tier character? 20 years ago, that could work because the character never changed in the game. You could pick the best character and that best character would always be the best. Where now we're always changing. And not only that, but I'm a very firm believer on it's not about how good the character is it's how good the player is the person behind the controller has to master themselves and any character they fit they could probably go and dominate with whoever they choose because they know how to punish their opponent they know how to mix them up they know when to jump in and when not to jump in they know how to read and react to drive impact and so much more i mean let's just be honest a really good player could pick a really bad character and still be a really good player and dominate other people and vice versa a really bad character that says i'm gonna pick the top tier character they could pick the top tier character but still be a really bad player so let's recap what are the biggest things you need to consider when picking a main and how do you pick one ultimately who looks fun who looks cool start right there because you oh, why would you main somebody that doesn't look fun to you that makes no sense test them out how do they feel they look fun at first but how do they feel to you have you understood their game plan can you execute it consistently these are things to consider they're fun they look really cool to me so i tested them out oh my gosh i actually really do enjoy their game plan i i can i think i can stick with this or vice versa i don't like their game plan they looked fun at first but i don't think I can do this consistently. That's cool. Restart. I do like their game plan. They do look fun to me. And what do I want in their kit? I need a projectile. I need a good anti-air. So I'm going to go with these characters too. Ryu's got a good projectile. He's got a good anti-air. So I'm going to go with him. Oh man, I do want to play Zangief, but he's got no projectile. So I think he's out of the picture for me. I got a couple options now that I found my top five. I'm going to be Guile, DJ, Ken, Luke, or Ryu because they all have really good stuff. They have good anti-airs, good projectiles, things that I want in my kit. Now, how do they play? What is their game plan? What does it demand of me as a player okay so dj and guile have charge inputs i'm not a fan of that so now i'm narrowed it down to three and then just go from there keep testing them out who feels the best to you now that you've found someone that looks fun you like their game plan you like their toolkit if you don't care for projectiles or anti-airs or anything like that you might go for a grappler because you just love the idea of grabbing something and doing big damage so zangief might be your guy or vice versa biggest tip is don't just go for the top tier list characters because that's going to get you nowhere you want to have fun you want to enjoy your character and it needs to fit your once in a character. So I'm gonna stick with Manon myself, but who knows? I might be switching it up here later. I might be going with Luke. Although I do like the idea of Marissa. She seems like a lot of fun to me. So I'm gonna go do my own testing. While I'm doing that, let me know down below, guys, who is your main or who you think is gonna be your main in Street Fighter 6? Who are you testing out right now? Let me know down below. In your fighting game journey, make sure to take it one step at a time and I will see you in the next one.